The sheep shank is mainly used to shorten a line without cutting it. One approach to tying a sheep shank is to lay the line on a surface and form a front or backward S-shaped pattern, putting two bites in the line like so. Next, apply a half hitch over the right and left bites. Hold these tight for a temporary configuration that will remain intact as long as strain is maintained on both ends of the line. Laying the line on the ground and using this approach is preferred when you want to apply a sheep shank to a heavier rope. By placing a damaged portion of a line in the middle, a sheep shank can serve to reinforce an area of the line that's been weakened. Another common method of tying a sheep shank is to make three loops side by side and use the two outer loops to form the half hitches around the middle loop. When a longer segment of the line needs to be shortened, it's a good idea to first make a larger loop and then add the half hitches to either side. This form of the sheep shank should not be relied upon when safety is a factor, especially when measures haven't been taken to keep the ends of the middle loop from sliding away from the half hitches. One way to make a sheep shank more secure is to form two half hitches around the middle loop on each side. In other words, apply a clove hitch to each bite. Another measure to keep the sheep shank intact is to place a stick through the bites extending out from the half inches to serve as a toggle. For temporary applications, the sheep shank can come in handy and is a good knot to know.